today I have a portrait shoot with a professional model. I'm gonna be showing you how I take my pictures. We have my 51.4 lens and my Canon 5D Mark IV. So join me on my photo shoot and I'll show you all my tips and tricks. Today's video is sponsored by PPA, the Professional Photographers of America. Join a community of over 30,000 photographers that includes equipment insurance, education, and business tools made specifically for small business owners like you. So you probably heard me talk about PPA and all their amazing benefits that they offer. With their membership, they include $15,000 worth of equipment insurance. And I'm here to tell you guys that that policy, the insurance policy just got better. Starting May 1st, you will get a full replacement coverage with a flat $350 deductible, or you can replace your equipment with a flat $50 deductible. So they have a full replacement equipment insurance policy. They have data loss recovery services, plus education, all included in the membership. Check out the link in the description for a discount code on your membership. And whether you're just beginning photography or you've been doing this for years, definitely check out PPA. And let's get back to the photo shoot. I always start off with a test shot so I can see how things look. So that's what we're gonna do. If I like it, I like it. If not, we just keep moving, we keep it moving. So let's start off here. We're testing the light also and then we're gonna see how this environment works with the outfit and everything else. So lift your chin up a little. Okay, so I'm not like hating it, but I feel like we could do better. So instead of having Leah in the middle here, let's try to have you up against, or actually let's go over here. We have this beautiful portrait set up. Now I could do a few things. I could kind of do a test shot with Leah right here where there's distance between her and this wall right here. So that's what I'm gonna do. And then I'm gonna have her closer to the wall just to see how it looks. You know, it's all about trying different types of distances as well. This is gonna make a difference versus having her right up against the wall, which I'll show you guys. So this is, this is Leah, like a, literally like on the sidewalk. So we're gonna take that photo. Okay, same pose, but just like take a step back all the way to the, yes, to the wall. Okay. And between those two photos, you can see a bit of blurriness in the one where there's distance between Leah and this wall. So I actually prefer the ones of her closer to the wall because it shows more of the texture. So we're gonna ha do a, a couple more portraits against this textured wall. So let's just do simple portraits, yeah. Yeah, I love that, stay right there. And also something like this, I would usually have the model bring the other arm out just to make sure that it's creating shape. Yeah, perfect. Great job. Okay, and then let's keep it moving. We're gonna go towards the sun, which a lot of people don't like shooting in the sun, but I'll show you how easy it is and how fun it is. So let's go. Let's go. So now I have Leah in the sun. We're gonna do a little bit of backlit. I love the texture of this brick in the back. Uh, so we're gonna take a few test shots to begin. Again, that's how I always start it off, just to see how the light is where I want her to stand. So let's just have you standing right here. I kind of like this. Yes, this area is really nice actually. And don't be afraid if you have some light hitting up here, you know, on one side of her body. I think this makes the photo more interesting. So don't be afraid to shoot when the, like this is harsh light right now. It's about three o'clock. So you can see the sun is pretty high up. A lot of people would not shoot at this time, but I encourage you go out there. If you find a good spot, you're not gonna really have to worry about the sun's position. So again, we have a little bit of shade right here. We have a little bit of light coming in like behind her. So I'm not too worried. If you find the right spot, you should be okay. Great job, that beautiful wind is coming in as well. Wow, okay, that's kind of cool. Great job, yes. Let's have you a little bit closer to here, yeah. Perfect, yes. We still see, again, the light coming down on top of her head a little bit. And you can see some of the light hitting right here and on her arms. I don't mind that. I actually think that makes the photo really interesting. So don't be, intimidated by harsh light. I think you can still come up with something really cool if you have a really good location. Looking here. Lift your chin up a little. Yeah, there you go. Okay. 
Now let's move on to direct light, which a lot of people avoid, but I love direct light. Now it is, the sun is really high up. So if you have, a, if you have trouble like looking at this, into the light, let me know. So we can have your, your eyes closed and then just open when we take the photo. That's, that's the game plan for today. I'm making sure that my, my f-stop is at nine right now. So you want a really small f-stop when you're shooting in this type of light. You wanna make sure you get all the details, especially when it is mixed light. So always uh, expose for the highlights. Yeah, perfect. Watch out. So it's actually a bit of side light right now. So if you put your hand in front of your face, so we can see kind of where the light is hitting. Again, this type of light may not be ideal for many people, but if you use it correctly, you can get some really cool pictures. Like don't be afraid to shoot in this type of light. So I love the fact that it's not even on your face. It creates like shadows. So we're gonna play that up a lot. Yeah, there you go, perfect. Love that, good job. Let me get one of your whole outfit. Instead of creating distance between her and the background, we're having her exactly on the background. Exactly on the background? On the, in, on the background? On the wall? Standing? Standing on the wall? Leaning, leaning on leaning. the wall, leaning <laughs> on the wall. Ding, ding, ding. That's what I meant to say, but I don't know how to speak right now. Okay, so let's do that. Yeah, I love these. Okay. Yeah. Hopefully the sound is good. How you doing? Hi, I'm good. How are you? I have some glasses like these. She might you are so sweet. They look all, they look just fabulous on you. <laughs> Thank you so much. You're so sweet. So one thing to make your portrait super interesting is having both hands in front and included in the photo. So if Leah was just kind of having her arms like this in the back where they don't really show, let me take a picture and show you guys. So we're doing something like that versus Leah, bring your hands out and kind of like one down, one, yeah, right there. So this creates a more dynamic, interesting portrait. Just think about creating shapes. Let's go over here. Let's have you like sitting down. Let's do some sitting down. So with sitting down shots, you can get actually a really nice portrait having the model sit down. So I'll show you how. Stoop kids afraid to leave the stoop. No, none of you guys get that reference? Hey Arnold. Yes! Oh my god! It's the best. I knew that, like, fun. Like, and that's why you're in my life. So we're gonna be taking a few more portraits here. And I like the way that Leah kind of positioned herself. Now she's giving me a little bit more of her shoulder, bringing her shoulder in, which is very nice. And then let's have like your hair to the back, to the other side, yeah. Yeah, perfect. Lift your chin up a little. My f-stop right now is at 11, so it's pretty small right now, shooting this portrait. Yeah, that's great. And let's have you like up against the, yeah. Love that, great job. Yes. Looking here. Show it in here. Yeah, right there. That's cute, love that. Tilt your head this way, yeah. Yeah, have your hand right there. I like that. Thank you. Thank you again, PPA, for sponsoring today's video. Don't forget to check the link in the description to become a member today. So I really hope you guys enjoyed watching me shoe and hope that you picked up a tip or two. We would love to thank Leah for modeling today. All her links will be in the description. And let me know if you guys want to see another video like this. Thanks for watching me on my photo shoot, and we'll see you guys in the next one. Bye.